protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Here at InfoWars, we deal with a lot of sensitive information, and to retrieve said information, we often have to go through the public information officer. But don't let the name fool you. It's been my personal experience, as well as the rest of the crew, that the public information officer's job is to give you as little information as possible. You know what's going on up there, and you want to talk you. to people, and you don't even have a prepared statement? Shame on you. You're criminals. That's a bunch of bullshit. They know what's going on at the Bundy Ranch, and they won't even let a personal information off, a, a police information officer give us any information. And the people over at Wired.com figured this out as well when they recently tried to retrieve some information from the NSA. They have the article out, NSA Mindbender. We won't tell you what info we already leaked to the media. Who would have thought that trying to obtain information about the information the agency had already given out would lead to such a brick wall. That's what happened when the Federation of American Scientists filed a FOIA request with the Defense Department, which is part of the NSA, earlier this year seeking information about any authorized leaks of intelligence made to the media during the previous 12 months. The response they got, the document responsive to your request has been reviewed by the agency as required by the Freedom of Information Act and has been found to be currently and properly classified in accordance with Executive Order 13526. Which is to say, we won't tell you what information we already put out about ourselves. This is the complete joke of dealing with the government, whether it's a very simple request of something like a, uh, a police report, how many bullets were shot, surveillance footage, they don't wanna give you that. And even the National Security Agency, who Joe Big Show the report, is even spying on you through your phone. All right, so you get your Android device, Wherever your settings button is, click on that settings button. Go to general, scroll all the way down to the bottom to wherever it says about device. Then you're gonna to go to legal information, open sources, licenses. It says you are you agree that this software is a non-commercially developed program that may contain bugs, and the NSA makes no and hereby expressly uh, disclaims all warranties. Also goes on to says that the NSA will not be liable for any loss of profits or loss of data. So these guys have these huge NSA data hubs. They won't let you inside. And when you request information, you get these bland responses. If it wasn't for guys like Edward Snowden and Benny, we would never get this intel. But you can get this information and so much more at InfoWars.com. That means no more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more tracking citizens who do nothing more than protest a misguided war. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com.